What's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've had an awesome day so far. Blight's been out for over two years at this point, but there are still many things that people don't know about it. Comment down below if you know these ones and let me know if there's anything you know about them that other people might not. Make sure to stick around until the end because some of these might surprise you. Firstly is a pretty unknown fact, it's the flashlight rush cancel. A lot of people know about the Legion tech at this point, but many people don't know the same thing applies to Blight. After you've been blinded during a rush, swing and you'll immediately pull yourself out of the rush animation and be able to move around again like normal. This is really helpful versus flashbang squads to get a gnarly down or even a grab in some situations. Next up is the slam duration speed increase. Using the rose tonic or the pustular dust will increase your slam duration, but did you also know that it makes you faster whilst moving in slam duration? This can be really helpful to get close to an object for a hug tech or to get through a doorway without bumping into it. As a bonus fact, the speed is also affected by play with your food, so if you want to go super fast, try combining both of them. Next up is a fact that I think might blow your mind. It's a really useful one that a lot of people aren't aware of. So when it comes to Blight Collision, realistically you either love it or you hate it, but one thing is for sure that it's very tricky to master. Certain objects such as the tarp on the shack wall can be glided past by simply starting the rush whilst looking down, allowing you to cleanly move past and attempt a gnarly 180 at the doorway. This is also the exact same thing we do to counter the crouch tech, which is a move experienced survivors will perform to prevent you from hitting them in certain areas. I highly recommend experimenting with this one and let me know what kind of spicy plays you guys discover. All right, so the next fact is a bit of a controversial one. I'm gonna warn you, this might ruin your experience with Blight. So you've been warned, I'm gonna give you a few seconds to mute the video or skip forward to the next fact if you don't want to hear it, okay? Okay, so ever since Blight first released, he's always had a little floating companion above his head. It's a black dot. If you look directly up whilst playing Blight with any cosmetic, you'll see it sitting there at the top of your vision, always kind of looking down on you. I honestly don't know why it exists. I feel like it might be some kind of storage point for the syringe model. It's like when you throw it after a rush, it will return and be stored somewhere on your character. I don't know, but um, don't tell me I didn't warn you. Okay, this is on you guys now. And lastly is the Compound 33 reveal. Some of you might know this one already, but for those who don't, it's a huge advantage that feels like you're running built-in whispers almost. Every time you bump within 16 meters of a survivor, you'll be awarded points for hindering them, which guarantees the survivor is close by. Use this to your advantage to find hiding survivors around you and never let one escape. So that is five facts that you probably didn't know about Blights. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe because we have some awesome content coming very, very soon. And make sure to like and comment down below as it really does help us out. Have an awesome day, Legends. Make sure to come and catch us live on Twitch. We stream five days a week and it'd be great to have you there. Stay spicy and I'll see you guys in the next one.